Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pitch Attack Podcast. I'm your host, the HOD of the BSP. Like, share, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, of course, enable notifications to receive all the updates, of course, from the this channel as well. All the content are possible, of course. Uh, follow us on social media at SideBSP on Twitter and PitchSidePod on Instagram. And, of course, um, follow uh, the podcast, listen to it on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you can get it from. And we're coming to you, of course, straight after the Barcelona versus a bar game. Not exactly straight afterwards, but I think in between, I was, you know, um, zapping in between the channels, watching Boston a bar as well as Brighton versus Arsenal. I watched the extended highlights of Boston a bar, and I think I could come up with some ideas to wrap my head around that result. Again, the result in itself um, is a shocking, but I think the details of the game are really the the things that you should focus with. Boston started strong in the first 20-25 minutes, missing a penalty via Martin Breathway to horrendous miss, I would say, really, for a player that's supposed to be playing with a side like Boston to miss a penalty like that isn't exactly good uh, looking. Um, they started strong, they gained a couple of chances, I think it was the expected sort of defence from Abar in the first 20-25 minutes absorbing the pressure just a bit I think against Real Madrid but I think it was less effective against Real Madrid because they conceded two goals against Barcelona they didn't concede and they started going forward after that of course creating a couple of chances a couple of close opportunities as well uh, as far as the um, as, as um, Ter Stegen was concerned he was forced to pull a couple of saves as well in the latter quarter of the first half, I think the last 15 minutes, they were pinned to their defence, Barcelona with Abar really attacking them, especially on the wings, of course, the 3-4-3 formation with that Messi, of course, that started with uh, Mike and it wasn't exactly the best kind of formation to close down spaces, um, you know, Dest and Febo were, were caught too much, I think, on those wings to have a proper defensive sort of shape in that 3-4-3. Um, the first half ended nil-nil, I think, to the liking of Abar, I would say they pushed the game to end nil-nil in the first half, to not give themselves too much pressure in the second half. Barcelona started strong, started high, started to looking for the goal um, that would give them the, the advantage, of course, but it was the other way around. It was Abar catching Barcelona on a mistake by Ronaldo Araujo, I think a simple but killing mistake, I would say. A simple pass that should have been given ended up with him flopping his line, Kike Gomez intercepting and, you know, having a simple task of putting the ball into the net. Uh, not easy finish, but I think it was a, a straightforward finish, I would say, for Kike. It was 1-0 for Eibar by 56 minutes and from there, it was hard for Barcelona to manage the game. Um, they moved up a little bit higher, they created tons of chances, but of course we have someone like Martin Breathwaite who could not necessarily score three goals in the space of 10 or 15 minutes, even if you wanted to. Uh, Griezmann as well wasn't exactly effective. Um, Pedri, I mean, for all the praise that we get, I think Boston still need Messi of some sorts up from, they weren't exactly that effective of a team. Um, in the end, it was a game where Barcelona bossed the second half pretty much. A part didn't get a lot of chances aside from the goal. And you'd expect Barcelona to finish this game off and to kill the game off and to win um, the, the game, but, but they didn't. Um, I, w- I don't want to say that Barcelona I mean, missed an opportunity, although judging by the statistics of the game and the way the game flowed in the second half, yes, Barcelona missed a big, big opportunity to come up up with three points um, against um, a side that supposedly you can win ahead of the games tomorrow, of course. Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid play tomorrow, so they will have a big chance to leap even more forward. Yes, Boston will still have games in hand, but you could not really ask too much from Boston, can you? Um, you it, it really looks like they're still working up the bits and pieces here and there. Koeman is still not exactly stable in terms of choosing the formation and choosing the personnel. So, yeah, that's all uh, for this. Um, like, share, comment on the video what you think about this game. Subscribe to the channel, of course. Follow us on social media at SouthPSP on Twitter, pitch support on Instagram. Always avoid the HOD of the PSP. And I'll tell the video about Man United versus Wolves. Uh, I will see you soon. You can check, of course the uh, Arsenal-Brighton game review if you feel like it. I will see you soon. Goodbye.